The good news is we turn things to Matt Wentz right now. <laughs> we don't need to worry about that chlorine yeah, not or the this pool. Week. Yeah, maybe the hot tub. That would be the only <laughs> thing really that we'd yep. probably consider dipping into uh, at this point because it's a little chilly and nasty out there, Matt. Matt, when I was trying to come up with a weather word, I was trying to play off the pool, and th you're going to hate me for this because there's no way you're going to fit this into oh, the geez. weather. It, it, it won't be seamless, let's put it that way. But your weather word today is cannonball. <laughs> Because, man, I used to love knocking those cannonballs out when I was a kid. I think it's cute that you say used to. Let's face it, you still do I still that. do. Yep, yeah. you're right. Good catch, Bets. I love to do cannonballs even today. I was going to say that as well, Betsy. Yeah, there's nothing like a cannonball as an adult. If you want the kids to leave the pool, you just curl up and say, I'm coming in, everybody. Yep, here we go. It's one of the traditional. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, as a dad, doing that when Emmy's having pool parties with her friends. It'll be great. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll fit that into the forecast. You know, we have no problem with chlorine here. We have that little plastic plastic tub that brings down our property values and uh, you don't need chlorine for that. It, well, Les Wyatt decides to do his thing in there, but overall we're okay. <laughs> hey, we got some decent rain today across Northeast Ohio. Much needed. We're still three to five inches below average uh, on the year so far. We picked up up to a half an inch. Some of the spots, areas of uh, Stark County, Southeastern Wayne County picking up uh, decent amounts and lighter amounts off towards the north. Not a drought buster by any means, but it certainly helps. And we've got just a smattering of showers. You just feel the moisture outside. Boy, it's just kind of yucky, kind of heavy outside. We are kicking off as an area low pressure is literally right over us right now. We're kicking off some heavier downpours down to the south. Cleveland area, just a couple areas of drizzle right now. A little shower getting ready to head into uh, the Fairlawn, Copley area. Getting ready to head over to Cuyahoga Falls here shortly in the next five or ten minutes. Then you get some heavier stuff down in Wayne County. Pretty decent downpours south of Worcester now. All this heading off towards the east, so Canton, Tuscarawas County, eventually going to get some rain out of that. Overall, a very messy pattern on the radar. You look at it, there's rain everywhere. There's nothing that well organized. We've got really a couple systems to deal with. If you get a better look at the atmosphere, if you look at the water vapor, and you can see we've got several areas of low pressure, one here, one here, nothing really, again, that well organized, but all this is going to keep rain in the forecast. We've got storms that will likely erupt near Chicago tonight. We'll have the waning intensity of that probably tomorrow morning. That'll be our Tuesday weather. And then Wednesday, area of energy diving out of the Rockies. That will bring some leftover rain in here as we get it into uh, Wednesday, especially early in the day. But we've got copious amounts of moisture to deal with. That's precipitable water. That's how much water is sitting up above us. We have opened up the Gulf. Your National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. You can see, yeah, here comes the rain and leftover storms tomorrow morning. Models saying just a scattering of some showers around the area. We ought to reach the 70s down towards the south. We were well shy of that today with the clouds but I think tomorrow's pretty warm and then we'll deal with more rain as we get on into Wednesday with that secondary low as that heads on by. And then you know what? One of the things you're not going to want to do on Wednesday is a big old cannonball in your pool. Reason why it's going to be chilly. Look at the cooler air around here. That was too easy. I don't know. I didn't really fit that in like I wanted to. But you can see temperatures on Wednesday much cooler in the 50s. Union Home Mortgage 7-day forecast. Our warm days tomorrow. Lingering rain chances Wednesday. Thursday we dry out. But look at the temperatures. We stay pretty cool over the next seven days. Mother's Day. It feels like it always is raining on Mother's Day around here. Uh, but you know what? I don't think there's anything wrong with cuddling with mom underneath an umbrella. So that'll work out hopefully for everybody. All right. Thanks so much, Matt. See you again in about a half hour or so.